Now, most Kenyans who buy second-hand clothes do so because they believe they are cheaper when compared to new clothes, making the demand for mitumba a function of income. This is according to the latest report by the Institute of Economic Affairs, which also indicates that both the textile industry and second-hand clothes can coexist since they target different income groups. In August 2020, the Kenya Bureau of Standards, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and its parent industrialization and trade ministry, developed protocols requiring importers and dealers in used textiles to ensure their consignment is subjected to physical examination and certification. This was a precautionary measure amid claims that Mitumba clothes could spread the COVID-19 virus. The report we are launching today paints a clear picture of the contribution of the sector to the economy and illustrates that both the textile industry and second-hand clothes and footwear sectors can actually coexist. Indirectly, in the value chain, a whooping 20 million people are employed uh, or earn some kind of a livelihood from this particular trade. It provides 18 billion shillings to our national treasury. The Mitumba Association of Kenya has welcomed the law and economics of second-hand clothes in Kenya report by the Institute of Economic Affairs, which indicates that importation of Mitumba clothes has little impact on the textile industry since the purchase of second-hand clothes in Kenya is mainly influenced by the price. So goods of uh, clothing and footwear of less than a thousand shillings is purchased but whether it's new or it's secondhand. And what this suggests to us is that people are looking for specific styles or very specific needs on which they spend the money. If you look at the high number of purchases that is taking place uh, for that third column in the middle, it's telling you that it's very difficult to sustain the argument based on these numbers that Mitumba trade is a substitute for uh, local textile manufacturing or new clothes for that matter. Despite this, the report by the Institute of Economic Affairs indicates that there are new clothes selling at less than a thousand shillings and that are bought by 74.5% of Kenyan households. The government has been advocating for Kenyans to buy new clothes to create more jobs locally and help grow the textile industry that was adversely affected by liberalization of the market in the late 90s, which paved way for the importation of second-hand clothes. Every 100 shillings that Kenyans earn, a Kenyan household spends in a year, Two and a half percent of that is spent on buying food, footwear, rather, footwear um, and clothing. And this is both Mitumba and other sources. So basically it's a consolidated figure. Using the data, all this comes down to about just slightly less than 200 billion, about 178 or 180 billion for the year 2019. In 2019, Kenya imported 185,000 tons of second-hand clothing that attracted 12 billion shillings in taxes and the sector employed 2 million people. Regina Manyara reporting for Channel 1 Business.